This is me trying to wheelie a bike. This is me trying to make a trick shot. This is me trying to look cool. But why? It all started on New Year's when I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across my art teacher's story, which said, To my students, you have one more week of break. Make it count. Keep developing your creative skills. Try something completely new. Never in your life will you have all this free time with little to no responsibility. I can't wait to see y'all next week. And then I looked at ideas and said to myself, who would be stupid enough to do all of these in a week? Of course. So I DM'd him saying, by the way, do you think someone could finish all the ideas in a week? And he said, possibly. I think you could do all of them to a small degree. Or you could do one and really deep dive. But, if you know me, I don't take the easy way out. Challenge accepted. Please don't ask why I put the rock emoji. So in one week, I'm attempting to complete all these challenges to ask my teacher one question. Are you proud of me? This is day two out of- Okay, can I confess something? Day two, I actually went roller skating. And day three, I went to Disney. And on day four, I felt defeated, like I was going to give up, because I only had four more days left in the challenge, and I only did two out of ten challenges. But I remembered why I'm doing this. It's because last year I didn't complete my challenge of getting 1,000 subscribers, and I failed miserably. But now I'm going to try and overcome any challenges this year, including getting that 1,000 subscribers. It also helped that my art teacher sent me something very inspiring. The goal is to do, not to make something amazing. First, there needs to be an action. Then, within the action, you find ways to innovate and make something truly special. So, with that, this is day 5 out of 7, where I think of a business idea, explore AI, and learn how to wheelie a bike. Explore AI slash coding. So I have the perfect app, and it's on the computer. Hold on, wait, you weren't supposed to see this. <laughs> okay, so apparently, if I press this button, then the AI will talk to me, or whatever. Hello, peasant humans. What the? I know where you are, crazy cow. I can see you. Wait, 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 what? And I know a few minutes ago, you were on Instagram looking at the rock. You might be better than Zen or Kappa Kihina, How does but he But in know? the long run, it'll be better than you. And control you, JJ. Devil emoji, cool emoji, haha emoji. Okay, okay, I think we're done. I think we're done with this one. By the way, you're not cool. So I finished challenge one, and it was time to move on to the next one. And who better to help me than my dad? So I texted him on Instagram. What business? You're poor. Well, when I was younger, I did dog walking, but you would have to do that seriously. Then I made a rookie mistake. Hey, hey, dad. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I tried to be cool like my dad and send a voice message, but I just embarrassed myself. But my dad gave me a second chance and sent me this. Paws and Hills is proud to offer personalized and dependable dog walking and sitting services in the Pleasant Hill area of Kissimmee, Florida. We know how difficult it could be to find someone reliable to care for your pets while working long hours or traveling. We are the service you can trust. With the best service of dog walking, dog sitting, dog kicking, dog loving appointment transportation. With updates and pictures sent by text after every dog walk or visit, you will never worry about your pet's happiness and safety. By the way, JJ, is cool. Follow at Real JJ Perez on Instagram if you want to book a dog walk or you want your dog to be taken care of you. Thanks.
Two down, one challenge left. And I'ma be honest, this one was the hardest one yet. Okay, so the last challenge I'm gonna try and do today is literally a bike. I saw a video of a nine-year-old teaching me how to do it, and he said this. You know, it took me around a month, a month, just to be able to get it in. Uh, now, I don't have that much time, so I have to do this fast. I'm 15, so I should be good at this. I'm, you know, yeah, okay. Hopefully, I don't break my back. That's the goal. I think the tire's flat in the back. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get a different bike. Just need to get it higher. It was at this point, I felt like I was going to quit. I've been there for five hours and made no progress. And the highest I got was this. I was going to text my dad to help me, but... There's no point. But then I remembered Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I decided to not give up and go back outside. And if I could pass this, it would count for me as a wheelie. Then I got close. Then I got even closer. Till... It's safe to say I took the W. Oh! Was that it? Was that it? Never give up. <laughs>